see what we get this time. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That thing went up. I'm gonna have to do an instant replay of that. <laughs> Another Canuck bites the dust. More the fact I had like four vehicles all firing at it at once. <laughs> so, does anything happen over here? Strange little duel going on down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard a javelin. Can't fool me. Someone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. That just oh, no. that just tickles me. I love that. <laughs> These guys in range yet? Uh, no, not quite. So. Are they under fire? Or are they just cowering because of? See what we got this time. Go! Run the troopers! Um, 
Did I tell you about the uh, the book closing with the enemy? I think I did. Yes. Uh, about 120 something pages into it, and it's fantastic. It's really, really good. I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's in my uh, it's in my book list. It's um it's great because it's essentially a summary of all of the the tactical principles that the U.S. Army developed through fighting in the uh, European theater of operations. So, I mean, it's, at the very least, it's applicable to combat mission, which is nice. Yeah, it's been a really good read so far. Javelins are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I was thinking about them recently, and, um... I mean, they I re really... I reverse the guy back behind a building, and I'm like, Yeah, I'll never hit him here. I mean, he's behind a building, they can't see him anymore, right? And nope. <laughs> That's, like, the beauty of the javelin, is it's fire and forget. So even if, like, the shooter loses sight of the target once the missile's in the air, pretty much a done deal. But, um, yeah, I was thinking about the, uh, the javelin kind of recently, and it's really going to, uh... Have you, have you heard of the theory that essentially is, like, weapons technology progresses, um, like, the tank will become uh, less and less relevant on the battlefield because, like, of all the things that will be designed to, like, kill it? Essentially, the idea is that eventually in order to keep a tank safe... Like, you'll have to devise, like, so many, like, systems and armor and stuff that it becomes, like, too big and bulky to be, like, logistically viable. Yeah. Um, um, I, don't I, mean, makes, I don't necessarily buy into sense. it. I think, I mean, like, tanks, in, like, a really... Since World War II, tanks have just gotten heavier. And bigger. Yeah. Um... And, I mean, and they're already... There are, there are grumblings that the 120mm gun is soon to be inadequate um again i'm not entirely sure how much i buy into the like the the theories um kind of primary assertion which is that like essentially tanks will become obsolete but the javelin definitely kind of um promotes that theory just by its existence because it's it's such a potent anti-armor weapon via, like, infantry. Like, you could... I mean, cause, like, w and that's that's one of the things about that, that like, in that striker thread that some people kind of mentioned, was that the striker itself might not be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a tank, but all the infantry in the back with, like, the javelins and stuff like that can easily blunt an armored spearhead. Yeah. And instead of having to, you know, have, like... A bunch of tanks like in the Falda Gap, like holding back the the Russian tank hordes. Like all you need is like an, a bunch of infantrymen with a bunch of javelins and good sight lines, and like a, a, a like a, you know a handful of infantry with a bunch of javelin ammo can do the same job as like a, an armored company. Yeah, I was kind of I was thinking about that recently. How um. How much the javelin itself might have on, like, the effect of, uh... Oh, did he get him? 
damn it. Oh. So oh. oh. Come on, shoot him. You Try can do it. No, turn ended. All right. He took a few pot <laughs> shots. Oh man, it ended on a cliffhanger. Yep. He's aiming God. for another shot. Okay, these guys are now here. He's hiding. Man. Uh, actually, yeah. I don't know if they can call anything in, but. Losing him was a blow, though. I don't know. I was trying to, like, shoot and scoot before your javelin guy could aim and get a lock, but I guess it uh, it wasn't good enough. Yeah. C'est la vie. Yep. That's combat mission. <laughs>